Hey guys, this is EJ Holland with TheWolverine.com and I was back on the road this week. But before we talk about that, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to TheWolverine.com right now. Just $10 until next football season. If you're already a subscriber, gift a subscription. The holidays are right around the corner. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, gift to everybody. $10 to the Wolverine until next football season. All right, guys, let's talk about my time on the road. I was back in the great state of Michigan. Felt good to be back in the Midwest. Um, Had a chance to see on 300 Michigan running back commit Cole Cabana. Was super excited to see Cabana. I had only seen him one time, and that was back in the spring. I stopped by Dexter to meet with him and didn't get much from an evaluation perspective. Obviously, uh, Cabana has had a monster senior campaign. He's been putting up video game numbers. And then I was especially excited to see Cabana this Friday just because they were playing in a massive game against Celine, which is home to Notre Dame commits, CJ Carr, and a few other FBS prospects. It was a good test for Cabana as well. Uh, everybody knows about Cole Cabana's speed, runs in the 10 fives in the 100 meter, so he is blazing fast and on the field. You can see that speed and that acceleration. That's what makes him a game breaker at about six foot, 180 pounds. But you know, I was impressed with Cabana because he finished with uh, a little more than 180 all-purpose yards or of total offense and scored three touchdowns. But those stats weren't padded by any one long run. So he didn't have like a 70-yard run. Uh, I believe he only had one 20-plus yard run. He had a few 10-plus yard runs. He had a big 30-yard reception Uh, But he didn't have one of those just long runs that boosted the stats. I mean, he really ran hard. He ran with way more power than I expected him to. He really wore down the Celine defense. And like I said, he picked up chunk yards. I mean, he finished with more uh, than 130 rushing yards. I believe he had 46 receiving yards. And like I said, he scored all three of Dexter's touchdown in a win it was actually dexter's first conference title in more than 60 years so definitely a historical marker there for that program and for cabana um i still have some concerns about cabana as a between the tackles runner i think he can do it i think he's a guy um that you don't necessarily want in a short yardage situation you know if if any part of the game he struggled in it was that it was the third and twos the fourth and ones um but he can run between the tackles i think the best way to utilize cabana is as a guy in the backfield that gets about seven to ten carries a game you put him in the slot you line him up out wide he's a plus pass catcher and then use him as a kick returner and as a punt returner there are so many things you can do with a guy like cabana who has that elite speed and who isn't afraid of contact either he embraced contact um I think he is a guy you uh, find a power back to compliment him with, and you're off to the races. I mean, he's, again, not just fast. Uh, He's a guy that is elusive as well, that can catch the football, again, can do so many things. So kind of in the same mold of A.J. Henning, who was more of a full-time running back at the high school level that's converted to wide receiver uh, at Michigan, but... I don't necessarily love the way Henning is utilized. I'd like to see him in the backfield more. I'd like to see him running some jet sweeps. I think Cabana can be a better version of Henning or even a Chris Evans uh, type of running back. He has a similar build. And when you look at that build, you know, a lot of people have been concerned with Cabana's frame. He has kind of a track athlete frame. So I'm not sure how much weight he's going to add. I don't think he even necessarily plays over 200 pounds at the next level and you might say well he's not gonna hold up too well in the big 10 but if you smartly use his touches if you can get him 15 20 touches a game uh he can be a game breaker at right about 195 200 pounds um i think 
you have one of the best strength and conditioning coaches in the country in Ben Herbert, and he will add the right type of weight, the right type of muscle uh, to the point where you don't take away from his speed either and what makes him so good. So I think Cabana is definitely an elite athlete and a steal this cycle, to be honest. When you look back at his recruitment in the spring, it's not like he was a really highly touted athlete. He wasn't ranked really high. There weren't a lot of big schools after him either. Uh, so it was a really good early evaluation by Mike Hart. Um, but I, I, again, he's risen up the rankings. He's had a monster senior year. Uh, I don't grade him as a true running back, but I do grade him as an athlete, and I would rank him very high as an athlete for sure. Uh, definitely a top 200 prospect. A lot to like about Cole Caban and his versatility. Uh, Michigan assistants Mike Hart and Grant Newsom were both in attendance in this game. Uh, Newsom was actually there evaluating 2024 Celine tight end Dylan Messman, who has been on campus a few times. Uh, Messman is definitely a, a name to keep an eye on. Like I said, he has visited campus in the past. He is on the radar. The thing about Michigan and tight ends, though, is they are landing uh, some very quality tight ends um, You know, over the course of the last few cycles. They're in it for some big-time tight ends in 2024. Um, but Dylan Messman is a good prospect in his own right. He's a consensus four-star. Uh, didn't make a ton of plays on Friday night. Uh, honestly, Notre Dame quarterback commit C.J. Carr struggled throughout the contest. So there weren't a ton of opportunities uh, for Messman to make plays. But he's about six foot five, 205 pounds, more of a flex end that spent a lot of time um, in the slot and out wide. Um an intriguing name to uh, to keep an eye on uh, for sure. But those were the guys uh, that were on Michigan's radar. So didn't get a chance to see a ton of recruits, but obviously honed in on Cabana and he had a big game um, and, and is a key part of Michigan's class. Uh, Cabana is fully solid. He was back on campus over the weekend and has been one of the leaders uh, for Michigan this cycle. Like I said, guys, subscribe to the Wolverine.com. Take advantage of our offer right now, $10 until next football season. I will be back on the road this week, and uh, I think you'll be excited uh, about who I see. So tune in next week and subscribe to our YouTube channel completely free.